Hey everybody! In this month's gel press video, I'm going to start a little mini series on texture tools from common objects that you might not want to throw away or recycle. So I have my 5x7 gel press here, and then I have a Pellegrino cap that I got at a restaurant. And I hate the idea of those things just going into the trash. So I took it. And you're going to see some interesting things that you can do with a lowly little bottle cap. I have some ivy leaves. My neighbor has a big bank of ivy separating our two yards. And she lets me harvest leaves for printing because they make really beautiful prints. And I have another video with these leaves that I can link you to. They really, really make pretty prints. So I'm starting with just basic blue paint and I'm using the open end of the cap to create circles in the background. This is a great way to just add subtle texture and also cut down on the amount of plastic that just goes wherever it goes. These are great little tools. Bubble wrap is probably the classic recycling with gel press textures, but I love the way these circles look. And if you think about some of the objects that you might have that you would otherwise recycle, there are probably lots of different sizes of circles from different kinds of lids. And so you can create patterns with different size circles. I'm going to show you something else here in a little bit for smaller circles and you can combine those to make really beautiful prints. Now because this cap lifts a little bit of the paint as you can see on the cap top right when it's making the texture those layers will stay light underneath whatever you add on top of them. So even when I go to print over some of these with other colors that texture that you create in that first layer is still going to show through because you are almost getting back to the white of the paper when you lifted the little circles with the bottle cap. So see how you can still see those? They're always going to shine through even darker layers like I have here. I love these leaves so much and I love combining the colors and making sort of darker prints. They make for really moody, fun backgrounds. Next, I will do Hansa yellow and blue and the magenta. I will do the Holy Trinity. I like getting colorful paint on these leaves. And later on, when the leaves have a bunch of paint on them, I will make a print just with those. So I'll do the same thing, lift the circles in the background, but this time add a drinking straw, which is another thing they often give you in a restaurant that you can reuse and doesn't have to go into the trash. So what I like to do with my straws as well is cut them up like into thirds just so they're not as long. And then I have a drawer where I just keep all those reusable plastic texture tools. There's no need to buy something when there's an abundant amount of it around you. Sometimes I even ask people to save their stuff for me. And they probably think I'm a crazy garbage lady, but I'm just a gel press printer. so. Everything looks to me like a texture tool. Now these colors play so well together on these leaves. I love the colorful ones the most. And I like to use a couple leaves of different sizes. And don't worry if they're hanging off the plate. Now here's the really fun part. If you flip a Pellegrino cap over to the top, it has a little, almost Dallas Cowboys looking little star on it and it prints perfectly on the gel press. You get all of the detail of the inside outline and the outside outline of the straw as you will see in this print and then you can combine that with the circles from the open end of the cap. But look at those stars. Isn't that amazing? You probably don't even look at your bottle caps for little patterns like that. But now you will. So I will repeat this process again with a colorful leaf with all of the colors. I'm using golden open acrylics. I love these because I can pick the colors that are transparent. They stay wet a little bit longer, which when I go to print the leaves, you'll see why I like that attribute. 
Here I'm adding the stars again and the open circles and then a little bit of the straw texture. Those teeny perfect circles from the straw are a lot of fun. There's one more texture that you can get out of a cap like this that I will show you shortly, but this one is going to have a ton of detail from this, both the star and the open part of the caps. So I will pull a ghost print from that one and we'll see how much of that texture we get. You actually get quite a bit. You can still see the stars nice and bright. So I will set these aside and try not to set them in a puddle of paint. <laughs> That's easier said than done when you are printing. And this one will be all blue. Make sure you don't have too much paint on the plate. See how you can see my grid pad through the paint? That's a great judge of having the right amount of paint. Now, if you just roll the cap on its side, you'll get those little vertical stripes that go around a plastic bottle cap. And then I'm adding the cap texture as well. This adds a ton of texture and you can roll it for longer lines like I was doing, or you can just press the side of the cap into your gel press and you'll get all that fun line detail in the background. Now this one I'm going to print on top of, this lighter print, we'll just pull the ghost print right onto that one and add a little bit of darkness to that. You can still see all that color coming through and the background texture, the stars, all of it. It's a great way to layer texture and pick up all of that detail. Now those leaves are all painty. I'm just going to smash them into the gel press transfer that paint and that beautiful veining detail and then pull a print and this is where you really want to be using an open acrylic or golden has an open medium that you can add to regular non-open paints and extend the drying time so that you can do a beautiful leaf print like this with the paint that's still wet from your printing session i love this one so much that just looks like a picture of my garden. It's so wonderful. So I will move these aside since they still do have wet paint on them because that stays sticky for so long. I have to sort of find a place to <laughs> show you all the prints and that can be a little bit of a challenge. I'm using copy paper. So until these are dry, it's going to curl just a little bit. So you'll also want to make sure that you don't stack these on top of each other if you're using open acrylics because they will stick together and they will tear. You need to let these dry completely. And depending on your climate, whether or not you have air conditioning on, et cetera, that is going to take a different amount of time for each person. So here are what all the prints look like. I love the star detail. I love the idea of not throwing those caps away. So look around your house and see what you can use in your gel press prints. And thanks so much for watching.